Malachi 2. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear, and if you will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, says Yahuwah Sebaoth, I will even sendeth a curse upon you, and I will curse with your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because you do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt with your seed, and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feast, and one shall take you away with it. And ye shall know that I have sent us this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with us Levi, says Yahuwah Sebaoth. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me, and was afraid before my name. The Torah of truth was in his mouth, and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity, and did turn away many from iniquity. For the priest's lips should guard knowledge, and they should seek the Torah at his mouth, for he is the messenger of Yahuwah Sevoah. But ye are departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble at the Torah. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says Yahuwah Sevoah. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people, according as ye have not guarded as my ways, but have been partial in the Torah. Have we not all one Father? Has not one El created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Yehuda has dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Yashirel and in Yerushalayim for Yehuda so profaned the holiness of Yehuda, which he loved, and has married the daughter of a strange El. Yehuda will cut off the man that does this, the master and the scholar, out of the tabernacles of Yahov, and him that offers an offering unto Yehuda Sevoth. And this have ye done again, covering at the altar of Yehoah with tears, with weeping, and with crying out, so much so that he regards not the offering any more, or receives it with good will at your hand? Yet you say, Wherefore? Because Yehoah has been witness between you and the woman of your youth, against whom you have dealt treacherously, yet is she your companion and the woman of your covenant. And did not he make one? Yet had he the remnant of the Ruach, and wherefore one, that he might seek a seed of Elohim. Therefore, take heed to your Ruach, and let none deal treacherously against the woman of his youth. For Yehuah, the Elohai of Yasharel, says that he hates putting away. For one covers violence with his garment, says Yehuah Sevoth. Therefore, take heed to your Ruach, that ye deal not treacherously. Ye have wearied Yehuah with your words, 
yet you say, Wherein have we wearied him? When you say, Every one that does evil is good in the sight of Yahuwah, and he that delights in them, or where is the Elohai of judgment?